In the 2024-25 season, Olympique de Marseille under Roberto de Zerbi has adopted a tactical style that closely mirrors his well-known philosophy from his previous stints at clubs like Sassuolo and Brighton. De Zerbi's Marseille is built around the principles of possession-based football, with an emphasis on control, structured buildup, and a high-pressing system that forces opponents into mistakes. The standard formation for Marseille under De Zerbi is a 4-2-3-1, though it often transitions into asymmetrical shapes depending on the game's demands. In defense, the team organizes into two compact lines, with the fullbacks pushing higher up when in possession, offering width and stretching the opposition. The central defenders, especially ball-playing types like Leonardo Balerdi and Lillian Brassier, are key to the team's possession play, distributing the ball forward from the back. Geronimo Rulli, a modern goalkeeper with excellent passing skills, contributes significantly to the build-up, acting almost as a sweeper, starting moves from deep within Marseille's half. In midfield, De Zerbi relies heavily on pressing and positional discipline. Players like Pierre-Emile Heuberg, Azadin Onayi, and Jordan Veratu excel in recovering the ball quickly and initiating fast transitions. This midfield unit is designed not only to dominate possession, but also to press the opposition aggressively once the ball is lost. De Zerbi's philosophy hinges on winning the ball back high up the pitch, allowing the team to maintain territorial dominance. This midfield trio is complemented by more creative players like Amin Harit, who operates as the team's playmaker. Harit is granted the freedom to roam between the lines, dictating tempo and linking up with the forward line. His role is crucial in breaking down defensive blocks and exploiting spaces created by Marseille's positional play. The attacking approach is fluid and direct. De Zerbi prefers his teams to break quickly once possession is won, with Mason Greenwood and Sepe Elie Wahi leading the line. Both forwards bring pace and clinical finishing, key components of De Zerbi's strategy, to exploit the disorganization of opposing defenses following a high press. The attackers combine well with Harit, making Marseille's offense dynamic and difficult to predict. The use of quick, one-touch passes and incisive movements off the ball enables them to penetrate defensive lines swiftly. De Zerbi's obsession with structured, patient buildup is a hallmark of his football. Every attack begins from deep, with the defenders calmly passing out from the back even under pressure. The goal is to draw the opposition out of position, creating pockets of space that players like Harit or Wahi can exploit. This methodical buildup contrasts sharply with the chaos Marseille sometimes exhibited in previous seasons. De Zerbi instructs his players to apply intense pressure on the opposition when they are in possession, aiming to recover the ball in dangerous areas. This pressing is coordinated, with midfielders like Hoibjerg and Unahi pressing aggressively while the defense stays high. Each player has a defined role in maintaining the team's structure. Fullbacks push up to provide width, while the wingers tuck inside to overload central areas, facilitating quick passing combinations. Once the ball is recovered, Marseille transitions swiftly, with their attacking players exploiting the spaces left by a disorganized defense. De Zerbi's vision at Marseille is clear. Dominate possession, press high, and break quickly when opportunities arise. This approach is a significant shift from the more chaotic, counter-attacking style seen in the latter part of the 2023-24 season under interim management. De Zerbi brings a sense of order and precision, making Marseille's football not only effective, but also aesthetically pleasing. His meticulousness and tactical rigor have instilled a new identity in the team, making them one of the most exciting sides to watch in League One. This tactical evolution aims to challenge Paris Saint-Germain's dominance, with De Zerbi's methods offering a clear, principled style that could see Marseille competing for the top honors in French football once again.